Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen all the configuration methods that are available for the spy on method we have seen, right? Throw error and these are all the things we have seen. Now what we need to do is, so these are all the configuration methods what we have learned. Something like return value, return values, throw error, these all things, call fake things. These all things actually, these things will not work on the getter properties, okay? So I think you know about these getter properties. So what are these getter properties actually? Let's try to recap those getter properties. If you want to know more about these getter properties means you can see my uh, JavaScript latest course, that one JavaScript course I have did it, right? So you can see in that in that getter, code, getter things. Now if you try to see here in an object, so here if you try to see, this is an object, it is having a property of log and here you will be able to see that it is also a property but it is a getter property. So this property will be written in a such a way that so you will be having the function logic you will be having the logic and whatever the things yeah, the logic has been written in, so that will be written to this property for looking wise this will look like a function but here in this one object this one is a property whenever you want to get the value of this latest thing so whenever you call something like object dot latest as a property the logic which was written here the function it will execute okay so this is the getter property now this, this is the getter property something like what I can say is so for example uh, You may be seeing uh, the latest ES6 standards like class properties and all those things you will be seeing right So this will be something like like that only so if you try to see here So here you will be having class example and get hello So this is a getter property whenever you want to do so you can create an instance of this uh, Example class and you can call it object dot hello as a property in return this method will be executed in the same scenario if you try to see in the objects notation so you'll be having like this and you can whenever you want to call the property so object dot latest if you call means this logic will be executed so these are the getters not only with the getters you'll be having this setter property also same thing setting thing whenever you want to assign a value something like that you can either the setter property will be executed so this is the getters and setters so now why we are discussing about this one is so we have written the code for the what i can say uh, we have written the code so let's try to close this one don't save and here if I go to the uh, what I can say so getter properties right in the calculator.js so here if you go to this main.spec.js so we are spying on the each and every property multiply method and all these all types of methods we are spying on so that means these these spying on methods so not what we are doing we are doing the spying on for add subtract these methods we are spying on but this pion method what we have discussed this pion method actually will not work on the getter properties so this is the thing so this getter property this pion property will not this pion method which we have discussed that will not work on the getters and setters properties so why because so these are these look like a property but in later it is executing the function so now you can think that this uh, object dot latest is a function so I can apply the spyon uh, spyon method for this um, for this function we, we may be thinking, but actually this one is a property. So we can, this spyon method will not will not apply to this property getter property. So for this one we need to do so another another type of uh, coding we need to do it. So I will we'll discuss about this how to do it. First let's try to add this getter properties in our project so that we can test it. So here in our code. So what is that we are having? So we don't have any getter properties, right? So this is our calculator.js and here we are having prototypes and all those things. So we don't have any getter properties. So now you know that here in the object we can add this like this getter property, right? So we can we will add this one for this getter property for, for this calculator object also. As this one is an object, so we can add for this one also. How we can add a getter property for this one? So we can use this object.defined property. So the object dot defined property is a method JavaScript method which is used to create the properties for an object. So if using that object dot defined property, we can create a getter property, getter property for the calculator dot prototype. Now here, if you try to see, so I am doing object dot define property. I am defining the property. Now first one will be for which object you want to create. So I want to create for calculator dot prototype, right? So I want to define the property in an object calculator.prototype. Now here, what is the property name? I want to do it. So now what I want to do is, so the thing what I am trying to do is, for example, let's try to see. 
and I will be opening this simple calculator.html. Yeah, if I try to open here, I, I will show the version of this calculator. So what is the version of this current version of this calculator? I want to show it. So for that reason, I will be creating a property for this one. So here the name work for this one will be version. And here the third parameter will take the pro will take an objective. So this one is called as descriptor properties. Here you can mention either a value for this function version or otherwise getter and setters you can mention it. So I will I will be defining the getter property for this one. So it will be a function. Right now I will return only 0.1. Okay. So that's it. Now if you want you can do the configurable. So configurable means so whether you can delete it, you can change the property name or what. So if you want to change the version property or if you want to delete this version in the object means you can do it and enumerable so enumerable also we need to make it true so enumerable means whenever we are looping on this object so do you want this property to be visible to be looped over means if you want if you make it as true then it then this object proper when whenever this object is looping this property also will be looped okay so this is enumerable so that's it so now we have added the version and the getter function is the getter method is there for this function so let's try to see so the implementation so here we are having the calculator if you try to see calculator so you will be able to have this calculator this is a function okay and here this one is a calculator is equal to new sorry so i will be doing where calculator is equal to new calculator now if i try to print calculator okay you are having this total of zero and if you go to this prototypes and here you will be having version right so you are having a version so this is a getter property now you know that version we have a getter property the function a function is there but if you want to access this version so what i can do calculator calculator dot version i can use directly dot version like this so we are able to get this 0 0.1 so how come this 0.1 is coming because this is a getter function whenever you are trying to call this property immediately the, this getter function will be executed whatever the logic you have written in this one so it will return that value so this is how we will be uh, this is how the getter properties will be working so now what we need to do is so we will try to add this getter function so getter function means so what what i can say is the version the version we will try to show it in the calculator here so then afterwards what we will try to do is we will try to test this version using this spy on property as we already told you that the spy on method so what we have discussed in the main.spec.js this spy on method will not work on the getter properties we have discussed right so let's try to see that one how we can make this one uh, work so by using the another method so what are the set of methods available in our jasmine test cases let's try to see it and let's try to solve it so this is how we will be defining the property that getter property or any property so for, for example here you are having version so you have mentioned the get but if you want to mention the value means you can mention the value like this but this is a wrong so actually you should not mention it like this so for example if i try to do so here you will be able to see that invalid property descriptor why because either you should have a getter functions or you should have a value both of them will not exist in the object or defined property whether you either you can mention this getter properties or setter properties or otherwise value property you can mention so either either only one of them should be mentioned both of them should not be there so configure enumerable will be present not a problem so this is how we'll be defining the getter properties in a, for an object hope you understood about this one in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to display this version here down and afterwards we'll try to test this version getter property version so whether it is working properly or not we'll try to test it hope you understood about this getter property concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.